Hi, it's Katrina. From fluffy dogs that have been around for thousands of years to guard dogs that can take down a jaguar, here are 11 of the rarest dogs in the world. Number 11, the Puli. You might mistake this small dog for an ordinary wet mop and its fur for dreadlocks, but this cute little guy is a skilled cattle herder. The breed has been herding sheep in Hungary for over 1,000 years, but there is much debate as to where they actually came from, with some believing they came from Central Asia with the Magyar invaders from Siberia and India. The Puli works side by side with the larger Commodore dog, which looks like a larger version of the Puli. The small dog moves the flock while the Commodore offers protection from predators or theft. It's also agile, quick, and able to change direction instantaneously. The Puli also excels as a watchdog. When it's kept in the house, it may need to go outside frequently to exercise. It can be loyal, friendly with children, but remains wary of strangers. The dog is said to be very happy and easygoing, and many people want them for their cuteness and intelligence. They have even been successful with police work. But before you consider acquiring a Puli, keep in mind that you'll have to spend time grooming the curls to ensure your dog is looking good and not a matted mess. FYI, the curls can take several days to dry after a bath. Number 10, the Fila Brasileiro. Also called the Brazilian Mastiff, the Fila is a dog breed indigenous to Brazil. It's known for its hatred of strangers and aggressive tendencies, but it's very loyal and protective of its owner, which is why they are excellent guard dogs. They will protect their owner, family members, and family pets once they understand they are part of its pack. Don't blame the Fila for its temperament and aggression, since it was bred to be a tough guardian, herder, and hunter by plantation owners. It's a great cattle dog and was taught to hold prey by the neck until the hunter arrived to make the final kill, so you can imagine how strong they are. They weren't bred for joking around. They were used to take down jaguars and wild boars and hold them down without getting injured themselves. This breed is not recommended as a household pet, since it would most likely terrorize your guests. These dogs were used by the Brazilian army in extremely hostile conditions and were very successful. In countries where they do show the Brazilian Mastiff, the judges don't go near it. Visual examination only. It's illegal to keep the Brazilian Mastiff in 16 countries, for example Denmark, Norway, Malta, Cyprus and the United Kingdom without explicit permission by the courts. Where it's legal to keep one, an insurance company may cancel the homeowner's policy. Number 9. Ozawak Don't let the slender appearance of the Ozawak fool you. It might be gentle and affectionate, but it's also an energetic, strong guardian dog. The breed comes from the Azawag Valley in West Africa, where it was traditionally kept by the nomadic Tuareg people, who inhabit the vast Sahara region. It belongs to the Sighthound family, which consists of canine sprinters that depend on their blazing pace to hunt their prey. This breed has been around for thousands of years and was brought to Europe in the 1970s and the United States in the 1980s. As you can imagine for a scent hound, they have an excellent sense of smell and are used to chasing down fast things like rabbits and gazelles. The Ozawak is nearly impervious to heat, which has enabled it to thrive in some of the harshest environments on the planet. What's more, it can run in temperatures of more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which would cause other dogs to overheat and die from heat stroke. They are some of the most expensive dogs in the world, costing about $3,000 and up. Number 8. The Otter Hound the Otter Hound is considered one of the most endangered dog breeds in the world today. There are only about 1,000 of them worldwide. These dogs were bred in Britain as far back as the 1100s. They originally hunted in packs, and as their name suggests, they were bred specifically to hunt otters, which at the time were a menace. As the centuries went by, river otter hunting became more of a sport. The breed as it is now is thought to have emerged in the early 1800s. The otter hound is highly adapted for swimming in the water. Its slightly oily undercoat makes the dog water resistant, and it needs to be brushed often to prevent matting. It has a sharp nose that contracts scents in mud and in the water with no problem. The otter hound even has webbed feet that allow it to dive and swim very well. They are very vocal dogs too, known to produce a loud deep bay which can be heard over long distances, and they are known for their happy and energetic personality. When otter hunts became a widespread sport, the otter numbers in Britain quickly dwindled between the 1950s and 70s. In addition to being hunted, river otters suffered greatly due to pesticides that were being washed into the waterways. In 1978, a voluntary halt was put into effect and the species was placed on the list of protected animals. 
1977, there were nine registered Otterhound packs. Now there is only one remaining purebred pack in England. Number 7. The Moody The Moody is a herding dog from Hungary. Usually bred for farms, they are incredibly versatile and smart. They are known for being able to herd even the most stubborn livestock. They have wavy and curly hair and a long nose and can come in a variety of colors. It can work, guard, offer companionship, and is a great mouse hunter too. It's also known for being a good tracker and a talented competitor in agility, frisbee, and herding competitions. The breed was first discovered in 1936 by Dr. Desofenes, the director of the Museum of Balasa Geiermat. The breed was almost lost as many were killed during World War II. In 1966, Dr. Zoltan Balassi filed for the breed's official FCI inclusion, basing the standards on a handful of the remaining Moody's. A few people have been involved in the breeding of the dog up to the present day, and they are beginning to catch on. Some have been exported overseas, and the breed's world population is now estimated at 1,500 dogs. Number 6. The American Foxhound the American Foxhound is one of the oldest dog breeds in the United States and may even be the first dog breed developed in the States. In the 1600s, several were brought over to the American colonies from England and George Washington himself was a known breeder of foxhounds. Fun fact, he was a known dog lover who is said to have owned every group of dog officially recognized by the American Kennel Club. The American Foxhound was bred to hunt foxes and other game while relying on scent and stamina. They can chase prey for hours and need a lot of exercise. They make lots of noise with loud howls that you can hear for miles. Despite being recognized as a purebred in 1886 by the AKC, it's one of the rarest dog species in America. The foxhound has much more to offer besides its refined hunting skills. They are very good-natured, docile and sweet, and they act shy around strangers. The dog is also known for its independence and stubbornness, particularly when it picks up a scent. Due to its innate hunting instinct, the American Foxhound is not really suited to city life. Number 5. Lagotto Romagnolo The Lagotto Romagnolo dates back to the 1400s in Italy and was bred as a water retriever for the marshes of Romagna. It was also known as a gun dog and their sense of smell makes them very helpful in looking for truffles, the most expensive food in the world. They are often shown in many paintings from the Renaissance era and while there might not be many around the world, they are near and dear to Italy. They have a waterproof coat that is very soft and their curly hair rarely sheds. Besides being famous for being cute, they are hardy, obedient, intelligent and affectionate. When roughly translated, its name means the lake dog from Romagna. The breed can work all day and does well in all kinds of terrain. The wetter and more exciting, the better. When the marshes were drained in the 1800s, they were no longer as needed for their hunting abilities. Now they are mostly kept as pets and are best with people who are active so they can be outside playing, digging, and swimming. They are also being used for research into epilepsy and as support dogs, so their numbers are now rising. Number 4. Swedish Valhund The Swedish Valhund is a small and long herding dog that is energetic and playful like its corgi cousins. Historians believe that they were bred 1200 years ago to herd livestock and move them over long distances. These little Viking dogs are tough, and what it lacks in size, it makes up for in self-confidence and courage. It organizes cattle by nipping the hooves, but it must avoid being kicked. It's also known for being energetic, alert, and fearless. Funnily enough, even though they are from Sweden, they don't do well in the snow or in very cold weather because of their short legs. In 1942, the Swedish Valhund almost disappeared completely, but were revived by two Swedes in 1943. Since then, the breed has been officially recognized and bred in over 10 countries. This brave dog is still used in small Swedish farms, and it's valued for its speed and agility. As a pet, it gets along with children and other dogs. Number 3. The Thai Ridgeback The Thai Ridgeback is a muscular dog known for being tough and energetic. It's originally from Thailand, where it was bred as a hunting dog that could kill dangerous prey, such as wild boar and cobras. Thai Ridgebacks also escorted carts and had been used for home security and as guard dogs for many years. The breed has remained unchanged for hundreds of years due to their geographic isolation. It is only one of three breeds of dogs with an actual ridge on its back, besides the Phu Quoc Ridgeback from Vietnam and the Rhodesian Ridgeback from South Africa. The ridge is formed when the hair grows in the opposite direction along the dog's back. The Thai Ridgeback has eight distinct ridge patterns, and the wider the ridge, the more prized the dog is. It's estimated that there are about 1,000 Thai Ridgebacks outside of Thailand. You can find them in countries such as Spain, Slovenia, Italy, and in the United States. 
but it can be a handful for a novice dog owner. Since they were usually treated as guard dogs, they did not often have human contact and they are very independent. They are great jumpers and love to roam too. However, if they are socialized and treated properly from a young age, they are loyal and loving pets. Number 2. Caucasian Shepherd Dog Also called the Russian Bear Dog, the Caucasian Shepherd Dog is a powerful canine that is giant. It descended from the ancient Caucasian Mountain Dog, a lineage that is believed to go back 2,500 years. Males are larger and more powerfully built than females. A male can weigh as much as 90 kilograms and stand at 70 centimeters. The breed has a thick double coat and a lavish mane, like the Tibetan Mastiff, which enables it to survive in polar environments. Originally, the dog was used by shepherds in the Caucasus Mountains to defend their flocks from predators such as bears, wolves, and jackals. It has also been successfully introduced in Georgia, where it's used to guard cattle. Due to its strength and fierceness, it's used in some of the toughest prisons in Russia. Number 1. The Norwegian Lundehund Also called the Puffin Dog, this ancient breed was developed to hunt puffins, which are small seabirds that obtain their food by diving for fish in the ocean. From the Viking Age to modern times, puffins have been sought for their meat, feathers, and eggs. But puffin hunting is difficult because the birds build nests on small shelves edged on steep coastal cliffs and in rock crevices. Nevertheless, the Norwegian Lundehund could hunt puffins well because of its unique adaptations. It has six toes instead of the usual four per foot as in other canines. The Lundehund can bend its head backward and touch its spine and it could easily turn around in narrow puffin caves. Its forelegs are especially flexible and capable of bending at 90 degrees like a human arm. When hunters adopted a technique called sky fishing, which relied on nets to capture diving puffins, Lundehunds became obsolete. By 1900, these dogs only lived in the village of Mostad, which had a population of about 120 people. In 1963, following a severe outbreak of distemper, there were only six members left. Thanks to revival efforts, there are approximately 600 puffin dogs in Norway and about 350 in the United States. Since they are a guard breed, they are known to be fierce and confident, but they are very devoted and friendly to their own family, including other pets. Thanks for watching! Do you have one of these dogs? Let us know your experience in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!